So one of the beautiful parts about Pentatonix being together for so long at this point, which if I'm correct, I think it's about 12 years as a group that they've, they've been together, um, is the concept that I essentially get to rediscover their music for the first time in the sense that today we're talking, looking at taking a look at the video of Silent Night, the live version. Um, and I'm it, like YouTube said that I've watched it. I don't remember watching it. And I looked on my YouTube studio and I, I haven't reacted to it. So at some point in the eight years that this video has been out, I've seen it. And but it's almost like now I get to re see it for the first time because I don't remember necessarily watching it because I probably saw it when it came out. Because I feel like I discovered Pentatonix or I knew about them when they were on the sing off. I, I feel like I remember watching episodes of the sing off and um, with my mom actually. And I remember, I definitely remember seeing clips of them on YouTube, uh, like like when YouTube was like just in its like infancy to some degree. Um, but it's, so you essentially get to rediscover their music, which is cool. So today we're taking a look at uh, Silent Night. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I appreciate you taking the time to check it out. My name's Jacob, and I'm a musician from Northport, New York. And let's see what we got. One, two. Yeah, come on. The arrangement's phenomenal. Sounds like a plagal resolution. Let's pause right here. A plagal is, I think, a, uh, well, I know a plagal is four to one. Um, it sounded like that was a plagal. I was going to say, I think it's a plagal. But plagal is definitely a four to one chord progression. You hear it a lot in the Catholic Church music. They call it the, the Amen chord because you just hear it so frequently in, in that music. Um, this is like a video from like, I've heard Pentatonix fans uh, um, or Pentaholics call the baby tonics uh, because they were all so young here. It's crazy. Um, I don't know if this video is actually eight years old or it's old in that and was only posted eight years ago. Um, but one thing I want to comment on, first of all, it sounds phenomenal. Um, what I what blows my mind is like to some degree the relaxed nature and like the just the pure talent of their voices and the sense of like uh, Kirsten is, is is leaning up against the wall like she's just hanging out and she's singing like beautifully. And I just find that like you know if she was nervous or not, or even just concerned about hitting the right notes or hit, making it sound good, like you would not necessarily be as like chill and I, I admire the fact that it's like almost like a confidence that it's gonna come out good if that makes sense. Huge reverb. pause before we go into the next section i it always blows my mind how they learn these things and, and remember them because there's so many intricate intricate parts and like one thing that that differs from them from like what i would call like a quote-unquote traditional band is the concept that like with a traditional band whether it be drums or guitars or keyboards or vocalists there's a lot more room for error in the sense that like if a guitar player plays the wrong chord you're not going to notice it as much as if one of them hits the wrong note because if one of them hits the wrong note n immediately you will notice a dissonance in the um in the in the intervals essentially and you'll hear it it'll be like mm, that's cringy it doesn't sound right um where you, because there's more going on 
there's more to hide by in behind in like a, like a traditional band. But when it's just them a cappella, like if one of them hits the wrong note, it's you will immediately know. Um, so that being said, the, the fact that they like know these all by heart, and it's not just that when they go and perform, they're not performing one song; they're performing two hours of music, and it blows my mind that they have the capacity to remember what their parts are. It blows my mind. I love about what they do with with like these traditional songs that we've heard so many times is they truly do a phenomenal job at turning into their own like this is like the pentatonix version like they especially what i find is they start it familiar and then they turn it into their own which i think is a super cool way to do a cover i love when artists make their take a song that we all know and turn it into their own because if i want to hear essentially the like the straight up cover version like i could also just go listen to the original song but i love the fact that they turn into their own Crazy man. I want to know where that was filmed um, and if that was a natural reverb or if that was reverb added after the fact. And I know that they said it was live, but like you can still like record something live and then add, add like reverb or effects to it after the fact. Um, and how they recorded that, if it was one mic in the center, if they all had little like lapel mics, I didn't see any lapel mics, but um, you could hear that everything was panned. Like, you know, you could hear, hear Avi was on the right hand side, for example. Like, um, but really, really cool production, really cool. Um, just arrangement. The arrangement was beautiful. Like, and I'm, I'm curious. You know, I, I I've had uh, Ben Bram here on the channel, and and we've talked about um, the arrangement of their music and stuff, and like his involvement, but also their involvement. And I I'm curious, like at a different stage of their career, like whose part was in what, like who decided like who had what part in this stage of their career. Um, it's very different, you know, obviously where they are now compared to where where they were. And I would just love to know. I think that it's just incredible. And um, you know, what would be cool if it, like taking the pentatonix versions of songs and turning them into instrumentals like for example uh, you know a string quartet doing them or like on a piano like because i know that you can get the the the, the arrangements and i think that'd be really cool to hear 